So are you happy now? Things just got so crazy from a simple maybe. It was a long way down. I just feel so heavy. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to create a golden cut crease and I'm starting with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Orange Soda Eyeshadow. This always used to be my go-to eyeshadow for in my crease as the first step. And now I used it again, I kind of remembered why I liked it so much. It's such a soft texture and it's really nice for if you're going in with warm shades to blend first in your crease. Then I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I will put the name in the description bar. I'm going to take this gorgeous orangey brown shade and I'm going to blend it in my crease as well. But like I say in every video, regardless of what kind of shade you want to use for your crease, make sure that you first go in with a lighter shade so it will make it easier to like blend out the eyeshadows. Then I'm going to use this Natasha Denona Holiday Eye Palette in the number 2 and I'm going to use this pretty warm brown orangey shade and I'm going to apply this in my outer V so I'm trying to like pack on most product in this area and then with whatever is left of my brush I'm just going to softly blend it more towards my crease area, more towards the middle part and um, if you find the edges too harsh of course you can go back in with the shades you have applied before this one so you can kind of make the edges more smooth and well blended out so i'm now going a bit more towards the beginning part of my eyelid i wanted this shade to be all over in my crease then i'm going in with this super pretty yellow shade and i'm going to blend it around the edges to make sure that it's well blended out and it gives more of a warm undertone, like even more warm than it already is. I just think this is such a gorgeous color, so I just wanted to include it in this video. So now I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to apply it on top of my eyelid to create a base for my next eyeshadows. Without you, everything we Now that I'm done with applying concealer, I'm going to use this gorgeous light golden shade and I'm going to apply this at the beginning part of my eyelid using my favorite brush, which is the MAC 242 brush. This is just a really nice brush to use for applying eyeshadows, so I'm going to softly pack this in the beginning part of my eyelid. Then I'm going to use this orangey yellow shade. It's a very unique shade, I can't even explain it. It basically is like gold. When you see like a Disney movie and you see something gold, it mostly has like a shade like this, I guess. It's so pretty and I haven't used it before and I think if you own this palette, you have to have used this shade at least. I mean, it's so pretty. So I'm going to apply this all over the middle part of my eyelid. And then I'm going back in with that orangey brown shade, which I use in my crease as well. And I'm going to pack this on in the outer V area. Just to make sure that the crease kind of blends together with my eyelid. And when I'm done with that, it's time to remove the shadow shields. Um, I will link down in the description bar where you can get them. I sell them on my own website. And then you have like a sharp edge, which is really nice. Then I'm going to use the Inglot Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to apply a line above my lash line. And today I'm going for a wing. I feel so lonely now Walking through the cold streets Where you used to hold me You know it's been a while Ever since I saw you Oh baby Everything we were was just so pretty Pretty enough to almost make me blind Still denying everything you told me I'll repeat it Up like this, good luck. 
now that I'm done with applying the eyeliner, I'm going to apply a little bit of black eye pencil in my waterline. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a smoky lower lash line or keep it more natural at the lower lash line area. But I was like, let's just make it smoky. My videos always turn out more dramatic. Like when I start my video, I'm like, oh, I can do like a natural cut crease. And then uh, when it's finished, it's like super dramatic. I'm sorry. <laughs> So now I'm going to use this black eyeshadow from the The Balm Meet Matte Trimini eye palette. Um, you can use any eyeshadow that you have at home, but this is just a really nice intense black shade. So I'm pressing this right underneath my lower lash line and also slightly on top of my waterline. And then I'm going back in with the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette in the shade 2 and I'm going to take this um, orangey brown shade and I'm going to press it right underneath where I apply the black eyeshadow and I'm kind of trying to make it blend into each other so first I pressed and then I'm going back and forth with my brush to blend and to make it even more blended out I went back in with that orangey shade from the Natasha Denona Sunset palette and I'm just going to blend it right underneath the lower lash line to make it even more smoky for my mascara, I used the MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara for my lower lashes. And for my upper lashes, I used fake eyelashes. I applied them off camera, but I will link the name in the description bar where you can get them. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be really sweet. And this way I know what kind of videos you guys like. And um, let me know if you have any suggestions for my next videos. I already have something in mind, but if you know something else, let me know. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.